Let's make a zipper. Kamakatsu SL12S in one knot. This is gonna be the big zipper. You need heavy duty thread. We'll be cranking down on some foam. This is 210 flat waxed. Thread base on. We're gonna start with some craft fur. This is happens to be aqua fur from Space Coast Flies. Two little chunks of fur, as so. I'm gonna brush out the under fur just to clean it up. Don't really want any loose fibers floating around or anything too bulky. Tie it in. Oh, with the tab in hanging towards the front of the hook. You can adjust this to make it as long as you want. I tend to go a little bit longer. Make it sure it's nice and secure. And any of these tails, I like to make sure I do a post by wrapping the threads around the tail fibers only to help it stay away from the hook. Keeps it from fouling. Just helps it angle up better. Got your cabinet off and clean it up. Pearl crystal flash, one strand. Apply it by just wrapping it around the thread, making sure that tips are even, as so. I'm gonna slide it up and secure it. When I get about halfway, I'll take one strand and make sure it's on both sides. So one on one, as so. Secure it down. Now we have a crafter brush by EP, purple and pink. Start by cutting this wired tab off. You can tie it in, I don't like to. Like less fiber, less materials, the better. Pinch it for the wire sticking out, as so. And tie that in near the bottom of the hook. You don't need a lot of space, just enough to get a few wraps in there. You can do about three wraps for the crack right here, just to accent the tail. I start by pulling the fibers back. Just make sure nothing gets trapped. And I wrap over the top. Each wrap in front of the next. One, two. Pulling the fibers back. So let's even take a look at it. If you want to do four or more, you can. I just want it a little more sparse. Let me tie it. And then secure it down thread. Flush cutters, get it close. Right here, I'm just gonna push the metal point down, make sure it's not gonna cut any threads. Get all those fibers, and just clean this up. I'm going to 
use a brush here to pull out any of these fibers. You can tell those kind of matted down on one side. I'm just going to kind of go through and pull everything and put it in its place. Okay, and we're going to build the head. This is a six millimeter cross cut foam. This is a two millimeter EVA foam. This is just for accent color, but also a little more density on it. I'm gonna start by making the foam block, the six mil foam. It's about an inch in length. This is what makes the sipper sip. Your block is so, and you can measure it up against your accent foam. Here we're using pink. And you can cut along it like this if you like. You can always clean that up later. I'm going to glue these in place here. Start by just putting some globs of glue, super glue here, right down the middle. You can go heavy, but not too heavy, otherwise it's going to be a mess. Spread it around slightly. And push down on it. Just enough down the middle so it spreads out. And try to make sure it's nice and even, just to a degree. I'll spread the glue out. If you have any overflow, you can wipe it with your bar can, maybe a toothpick. It's like this one came out pretty quick. Then in order to tie in this heavy duty foam, I want to take my scissors and I want to cut an angle back to the tab in the foam. I'm going to go on both sides. One there, and one there. It should give you something looking like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to tie it in and it's going to be all under fibers. Put super glue down on the thread wraps. And we're going to place this foam head we just made. Starting with the block at the tab end we cut, putting it right up against, but not right on top of, just up against the tail fibers. To hold it in place to make sure all that super glue dries so we can start moving it. I want to make sure it's square. Here you can tell it's not. So I'll do is I'll try to make sure it's not crooked as it dries. This will help it ride true. I'm gonna hold in place for a few more seconds. And I like to start a little bit close to the end with the cinching. This is why you really need the heavy duty thread. This foam is very dense. I work my thread back and forth and hold it in place with my finger so the foam doesn't want to wrap around. You have multiple issues that can go wrong here and all you're trying to do is take your time and cinch as you go. Because you can break thread, you can cause a lot of these bubbles which will make your thread loops loose when you go down the tank to tighten them later, and you'll see that shortly. You see here, as we tighten the foam that's been cinched and cinch it down more, it'll cause your other wraps to be loose. And all you want to do is make sure you're covering those up. Because don't forget, we put a good bed of super glue down. 
and that's going to help make sure everything stays nice and secure. Here I'm trapping in all the looser fibers and I'm also going to measure this gap here. This gap is too long or too short and cause the fly to do certain things. You don't want to run the thread all the way to the eye because it'll smash the phone up against it and you won't be able to really access it very easily. It could cause the fly to not have the proper action. So this is pretty good, but I can like to move a little bit closer. You do it just by simply working up on the phone and letting it bite into it a little bit as so. And I just wanna make sure all that stuff's secure. If there's any loose threads, it's trapped in there under the tighter wraps and with the super glue. This will all be covered. It doesn't need to be neat. It just needs to be secure. And straight. <laughs> take your head material. This is Minnow Head Brush BP in purple. And tie it in here in the bottom. All the way back to the tail fibers that we had installed earlier. And bring my thread forward. We have about six wraps here. So you can just count as you go and move them forward each wrap. Doesn't need to be too dense. We'll need to get them really tight. You can kind of spread them forward. Angle them forward as you go. Looks like you'll get about two flies per brush. I'm going to tie it in here. Do a whip finish, then we need to trim and put on eyeballs. Let's go right over the phone. It out, make sure this brush is nice and pulled out. So we're about to give it a trim. So make sure there's nothing hiding down in there that's going to pop out later. I do use a certain technique to trim this one because of the way the fly rides. And one of the tricks I use is I pull the fibers up on the, on the bottom because the fly sits downward. I want to make sure I can trim it pretty much as close as you want to the hook here. I do want some fibers so it's not showing threads or any of the wire wrapping. I'll cut it like basically right on top of the hook chain. And that's a good start to getting rid of a lot of fibers you don't need. And then I'll pull out the sides. This one's a little different. I'll do it at an angle. So, we're angling towards the hook eye. Four sides, and I'm gonna trim right around the thread wraps. So by holding my scissors in place, I'm just kind of running around. It's gonna round that sharper edge in that brush. I'm 
from here. I just want to make sure there's nothing long or out of place. You can tell here there's a little bit of fibers still that's not quite trimmed down. So I'm just going to go in and shape those last final fibers that didn't quite get caught in the first round. So you're basically rounding it forward with a flat bottom. All right, now we're gonna throw on some eyes. Boom. These are eight mil, but you can use any size eyes, six mil, eight mil, if you like smaller or bigger. I just have these here, we're gonna use them. A trick to eyes, especially bigger eyes like this one, I just don't want it to go to cover the hook gap. I want it to stay above the hook gap. You want anything getting in the way. So I want to keep them high enough so the fly is not going to mess with hooking up fish or anything else. Side. Make sure they're nice and even. There you have it, big sipper right there.